We imagine those games using poker cards where you have to pick pairs of values that are equal to remove them. And they're all face down and you can only lift up two at a time and then if they're wrong, you put them back down. If they're right, you take them out. Now imagine instead you have to move them around you can only see one at a time, only one. You have to move them around in order to form a cohesive picture. Oh, and it won't even tell you when you've got something in the right place. So you only know if you're done when you actually have every single piece in the right place. That would be this puzzle, only without the poker cards. A simple room but a very nice table that I wish I had. And, ooh. Let's go ahead and open up the dark chest of wonders. Blimey, I haven't seen one of these in a while. That missing fragment you have found with four more portions shall be merged. Only then may you return the Hasuna to harmony. Alright, I think there's only one more we have to find. Hey, there's a little hole out thing right there. Alright, here's the real puzzle. Alright, holding down allows us to see we can move them, but like I said, we can only see one at a time. The memory of Bandam contains no deceit. Examine each portion and derive where they meet. No random method will yield a solution. Attend to the story as one of the Kavi and be sure to observe the assembly. Okay, we can only see one piece at once, and because of that we don't know what the entire picture might look like. We can barely see what some of the subsection might look like. So our first goal should be to look for pick a landmark that looks like we know that has to connect to something else. Uh, this sun looks like just the landmark. Can we find the top of the sun? Well, these actually look like the same style as the sun, but they're not suns themselves. Um, I'm going to try to solve a column as opposed to a row because there's only four squares in a column. So if I can just do that, I can get a better idea of the boundaries of the puzzle. And that fits very well with what I'm doing now, which is finding a top to the sun. Uh, there's some organic shapes here with people, and it's going to be a little bit challenging to follow those contours. Uh, oh, uh, that looks like it's the same style, but um, not directly under it. That moon corner kind of corners with that corner, corner, corner. The moon in the corner. Go to the corner. So, I don't know if this is the final resting place for these two pieces, but I do know that wherever this goes, the other one must follow it in the same direction, so relative to each other, they are correct. And now we can start looking for things of a similar style. Well, this certainly fits goes right above these. So now we've got these three. This one here, and there's a guy standing on something. Um, that sun needs to go either on the left side or the right side. There's no clear indication of which side it will be, so I'm gonna guess on the right. Oh, well, I was looking for the top of the sun, but that works out well. These four are in a perfect position, so we know that those are right, at least relative to each other. We don't know if that sun is right relative to that position. 
And also there's two guys there facing opposite directions. It'd be another clue to what piece is gonna work with them on the bottom. And I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> Starting the puzzle is the hardest part. All right, let's focus. I've got this done. There's a landmark here. Those white squares in the little corner over there. If I can find more white squares, then I can find, well, there we go. So those are on top. That kind of fits as well. Uh, the arms and the body of that guy um, fit. So I just have to find the hmm, two circles and a rectangle there. So, oh, well, this looks like it has white squares and those little circle things. So it goes on the right. And I just need to find the connector to the bottom. I found the top of the sun, but I'm not focusing on that right now. All right, that goes there. So now we, wait a minute, four circles leading to a fifth bigger one. Uh, it doesn't show the fifth bigger one, but this is a sowing seeds puzzle. And that means that right above it is the day and night puzzle with the six marbles, three black, three white. These are puzzles from that we've already solved. Well, some of them, those white squares I've never seen before. And they scare me for some reason. And that's the values of algebra. It's hard to see the actual notches, but there's five on the left, five on the right for a total of 10 possibilities if we remember the puzzle. And it looks like this is the top of the scroll. So the only thing we're missing really is the bottom of the scroll. But that's not what we care about. We care about the uh, ending of the sowing seeds, which, oh, which is right over there. All right, that works out. So this is a guy that's standing there that works out, and then there's another guy above him, and that sun does not go there. So now we know the sun's not supposed to be on that side. The sun does have the same artistic style as those other pieces, the web and the moon and the uh, bagel. So I'm going to put it over here. And with that, I'm going to look for the top of the sun. Finally, actually use it. All right, there it is. All right, we've completed this entire subsection. Well, not that guy, but the rest of this. Now, we don't know if this is actually where it's supposed to be, but we do know that relative to each other, they're right. We might have to move it to the left or the right. I mean the entire subsection. Move the entire subsection left or right. Oh. Well, go away. You don't belong there. We need somebody who belongs there, which is a head in the lower right corner. Oh, there's too many heads there. I already looked there. Um, well, that works. It's not a head, it's more of a body, but they're probably very tall. All right, that little upside down palm tree umbrella thingy. It looks like there's supposed to be a handle sticking up, and I thought I... S there we go. Yeah, there's a handle right here. And it looks like that kind of goes with that. So, let's see. It does line up, which means now we have this big disco ball as a landmark. And we also know the big disco ball is at the top of the puzzle. Oh, there we go. All right, so we've got a little bit more, but there's nothing obvious that connects it to the bottom, so let's look for something else to work. Oh, bugger. See this? This is a complete guy, but notice how the middle section is yellow, but the pants were white. This creates the illusion that, that they don't go together, even though the contours are correct, uh, because the color in the middle is different from the color of the pants. So that can, that's a, probably a big trip up um, for solving this puzzle, is not expecting that. So let's try to finish this guy here. That is not going to fit. The arms do not go to the right, and the body is way too big. So let's find a body that properly fits this guy. So we need a body on the right. And remember, the body is going to be yellow in color. We're looking for some contouring lines. 
This looks like it could fit once we find the body because it's guy facing the right, but I'm not sure, so I'm just going to stick it there just in case. Oh, there's the bottom of the um, values of algebra thing, but we don't know where that values of algebra thing goes yet. The arms are facing the same direction here, but the people above are facing opposite directions. That doesn't really fit where it is right now because the two guys were in opposite directions, but, um, oh, wait a minute. See that little stuff at the top? It looks like it's part of that disco ball. You can just barely see it. Which means that these guys are standing on something. So now we have two avenues to look for. A body on the right or people to stand on. I mean, legs, bodies to body stand on. Yeah. Um, perhaps this piece was what we were looking for all along. It has a body on the right and those arms imply that there's somebody there. But there's no face on the top. I think we don't see a face up there, but the face could be over there, and that could work. The arms are connected properly. The body is on the right, which means down here is where the bottom of the Valleys of Algebra thing can go. Wherever that is. I lost track of it. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, there we go. I should have remembered it. It was not that hard to find. All right, so now we have feet on the left, so we need to find some feet on the right to go with it, so there's two sets of um, feet. Actually, that would be four. Bugger it. Oh, wait, that looks like it could go. All right, and now we are looking for a left-facing leg to complete that one. Well, that start above looked like a left facing leg, but um, while I was doing that, I just noticed that that looks like it fits. We have two people there, two people there, and we have two people. Those aren't two people, but those are two arms facing in opposite directions, and where else do we know something faces in opposite directions? So, how's that look? And that this lower area looks like it properly works there. So the arm needs to go there, and then we need a leg facing left that's on the right side to fill that area. So let's look for that. You know, I keep seeing that guy, that big guy with the triangle. Um, but I'll deal with him later. Let's move that over there. So now we have a guy who is standing upright over there somewhere. Um... Whoever is standing there is going to have an arm above him. And I have a feeling I just saw the piece that goes there. <laughs> um, wait a minute. Let's hang on. I want to... This guy has to go somewhere, and I feel like completing him right now because it looks like I have all the parts. And it also looks like I've stumbled upon a problem. I can't move him to the left because I'll ruin the subsection with everything relative to each other. But obviously, that triangle can only be completed if there's space to the right. So he needs to either move one to the left, which means I have to move the entire subsection to the left. But I can't move the entire subsection to the left because of down here, we've already completed this and we know that those pieces go there. And this piece here clinches the deal that we need still need space to the left. So. I really think that this entire subsection needs to be moved one to the right. Um, first of all, let me do that. That was the piece I mentioned that was supposed to go there. And we see an arm coming out from the left side, so that pretty much seals the deal. We know that we started with the wrong assumption. Everything is off by one. So let's do a translation. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to stop using our brain. Seriously. Just think of everything we've completed as just one big unit, and we're just gonna dumbly move this entire region to the right by replacing column by column, one at a time. Pay attention here, don't care, don't worry. If you're moving something that isn't actually part of the solution, that was just like a straight piece, 
the main thing is you want to keep everything relative to each other. You work so hard putting everything together, you don't want to mess it up here. So just blindly push everything to either the left or the right. In our, our case, it's to the right. And our guy, on, who was originally on the right, is now on the left because he got moved there by constantly being moved um, there. So that fits, that actually fits with the piece there. That fits with the piece there. So it looks like we're really close to being done. Um, that clearly doesn't go there, that compass. Everything else is in the right position, so we just need two legs. Which should be right there. And that should be everything. Speaking of everything, where are the compasses supposed to go? Like, I see them a few times, but they're not connected to anything. Just double-checking everything, make sure everything's in the right order, and yeah. There's no way you would have known these two went up here unless you completed the rest of the puzzle. And that should do it. The puzzle's completed. Wait. No. I've seen that before. When we were in the assembly of the planners, I grabbed the jewel, I was turning right, and the wall... Oh, come on. That's the puzzle. You know when that would have been helpful? Like, really helpful? Fifteen bloody minutes ago. solved it without that help, so there. say that the strategies that helped me the most were picking out the pieces that obviously had connections like the half the sun and once I got those in place try to branch out from there and that's basically what I was doing um, some things were really hard to see the end of the palm tree and the little sparkly stuff at the bottom of the disco ball come to mind but in the end at least you have the picture on the assembly of the planners wall The tasks resolved so far marked here are 16. 